Good morning. Uh, my name is Ivan Nisimov, and I'm representing here our team, uh, consisting of Vladimir Polikov, Yelena Makarova, mm -hmm. and me. And we're presenting a paper named Chunking Independency Model Spelling Correction in Russian and English. Uh, Chunking is a natural language processing method uh, which can be used which can be applied to a wide range of natural language processing task, tasks, but uh, we choose for our work a uh, spelling correction task. The method can eliminate the possible alternative corrections of misspelled words according the, to a morphological dictionary. The method is based on generating uh, corrections using Levenstein method, uh, building a graph of all possible chunks, and after that further transformation of this graph to a set of trees and uh, then we need to choose one single tree from this set so we choose the tree with the biggest number of words from the sentence and consider this one as a syntactic tree of the sentence uh, our spelling curve, our spell checker is written in Java using, with the usage on UEMA framework, uh, it uses NLP at Cloud Library and uh, it uses chunking model in 10 years dependency as, basic as a base syntactic model. A little prehistory. UEMA stands for Unstructured Information Management Architecture Framework. It uh, was used in Watson project, uh, initially developed in IBM uh, and later by Apache Software Foundation, an Alpid Cloud Library, uh, based on OIMA framework. It has been developed in Kazan University in cooperation with National University of Science and Technology, MISIS, from Moscow. So, that's it. Uh, and the syntax model, uh, we chose from two most popular models, Chomsky's <coughs> and Tenyes, and we chose Tenyes because uh, it's close to a logical notation. Uh, and on this slide you can see stages of spelling correction pipeline. Uh, the, this is the English spelling correction pipeline. The pipeline for Russian language is described in proceedings of this conference. Um, so let's uh, discuss all these steps uh, in details. First we need to pre-process our text. We do it using Apache Tika library. Uh, we extract all text, ignoring meta information, identify the language on the document. Uh, after that, we do tokenization. So we use a finite state machine generated by GFlex analyzer and we normalize the text at this stage. Next, we need to do a segmentation. To, we need to divide the text into segments, se into sentences. Uh, by full stops, dots, and other grammar signs, <coughs> punctuation signs. Uh, and after that, we need to divide sentences into clauses, but uh, this is still not yet implemented in our program. Uh, the next goes synthesis, synthesis of potential corrections. Uh, we need to find each word of the input text in corpus of contemporary American English and if word is not found in dictionary the program generates all possible corrections using Levenstein automaton and uh, one heuristic uh, we uh, replace group of identical symbols with one such symbol the next we do post tagging with uh, Stanford post tagger. So uh, after that, we receive on the output so called word forms, uh, which are word with tag part of speech and lemma. Uh, next, we need to build an expanded grammar tuple on the board. <coughs> this stage aimed at facilitating the algorithmic processing of chunk lists and maintaining the homogeneity of syntactic uh, structure of chunk trees. Uh, the program search the whole text for uh, prepositions, articles, adverbs, and up marks their presence in the grammar characteristics of the words they are attributed to. So this uh, 
these words are shifted from lexical context, uh, contents of the sentence to its grammar structure. Uh, next, we can form a set of potential chunks. Uh, at the launch uh, of a program, uh, program loads all types of chunks from XML file. Uh, next, uh, inside every clause, we take all the, all the word forms, join them pairwise, and uh, those pairs that meet requirements of uh, one possible chunk types form the database form uh, oh, chunk, chunk types form a set of potential chunks. Next, we can we need to search uh, for the subject and predicate of clause. We have an algorithmic scheme for that. So the subject to the subject predicate pair is uh, one of chunks chosen by the scheme. Uh, next, we at last can build a set of potential, potential chunk trees. Uh, first, we build a graph of chunks. Uh, <coughs> next, uh, we put uh, the subject predicate parts on the top of the trees and receive a forest of such trees. And after that, we need to choose one of these trees, and we choose. Uh, we consider the best one to be the biggest one, so the tree which includes more, uh, most words from the clause. And after that, we can output results in any form we want. So, uh, on this slide, you can see an example of work of our program. Uh, here is an input test, output test. On the left side you can see a result of Levenstein algorithm execution. Uh, this is generated word this are generated word replacements for a uh, misspelled word marked by asterisk. On the right side you can see uh, the best chunk tree chosen by our program, the underscore red one chunk is <coughs> is really a mistake. So, due to imperfection of our implementation, whereas there are still some mistakes. Uh, on this slide, you can see a logical scheme of our database. Here, are the table which represents the type of chunks. And on this slide uh, is represented the decision scheme uh, with which we choose a subject predicate pair from all chunks. This scheme contains 16 par types of word pairs which can for form potential main chunks of future trees. <coughs> phrases in square are conditions and phrases in circle in circles, circle phrases are subject and predicates. We ran our program on test collection, uh, consisted of uh, 50 simple sentences, not requiring segmentation. Half of them each had two spelling errors in, in that need one single chart to edit, and half of them has one spelling error. This is the collection with one error. Spelling words marked by asterisk. This is the collection with two errors. You can see two asterisk in every sentence. So, this is the res uh, analysis of our results of our program work. So, we our program fixed correctly nine sentences from 25 with one mistake and four sentences from 25 with two mistakes. But if you see at this figure, uh, if you look at this figure, you can see that uh, the 10th uh, wrongly corrected sentences, uh, they had, program had multiple opinions found, but wrong one chosen. So this is the uh, growth potential of our method. Uh, so this is a description of this diagram. Um, here you can see a link to 
log our logs of our program with which we did this analysis. So the conclusion, uh, the main point of this paper is that the problem of spelling, spelling correction was chosen as a pilot problem. Our chunking method uses 10 years syntactic theory as a basis. Uh, new heuristics were introduced, like we're shifting lexical expressed grammar features like prepositions, particles, articles uh, from dependency trees <coughs> to word tuples. All chunks are to member, all chunks are homogeneous. So, uh, <coughs> the decision scheme for search uh, for the subject and the predicate of the clause was designed. Spelling mistakes are corrected by the Einstein method. Uh, the algorithm of the suggested program is created using NLP Cloud Library. It has high portability, scalability due to Java and Boomer framework. The program can eliminate possible alternatives generated by the system according to the morphological dictionary. As soon as we include segmentation stage into our pipeline, we can test our program on real Twitter messages. So, the chunking model suggested and described in this present research uh, is maximally close to a logic formula, so it uh, integrates well with semantic ontologies. In future, we are planning to realize uh, realize a similar chunking model for French language. The pipeline can perform as API and have a lot and may be applied in a lot of uh, in wide range of uh, applications. So the idea of the study and the heuristics belong to Vladimir Polikov, the database chunking and the decision scheme for search for the subject and predicate was developed by Vladimir Polikov and Yelena Makarova. The program was reali realized by me. Ivan Anisimov, uh, the research was supported by RSF Grant. Thank you for your attention.